the natural gas boom in, in the world, which was expected by many, will fall short of expectations in this decade. You don't need to rush to have too many energy plants. And never forget that uh, until a few years ago, the rush was to build up LNG import terminals, which means plans to import natural gas into the United States at a time when everyone here in the United States was thinking that the United States was bound to become a big importer of natural gas. Then the shale gas revolution uh, destroyed, you know, that, that, uh, that view. But uh, in the meantime, uh, plenty of LNG import terminals were built up here in the United States in a rush, you know, in an irrational rush to have uh, import capacity. And now those LNG terminals are running empty. There are more than four, 40 projects that have been submitted to the Department of Energy for authorization in this moment in the United States, but uh, uh, the concentration of this project, of the actual construction of just a few of these projects will increase the cost like it occurred in every other part of the world. It's typical in this industry, in the oil and gas industry, when you have a concentration of projects in the same period of time to have an inflation. With the fall of oil prices worldwide, the delivery cost of the planned LNG plants for export will be inconsistent with the level of price existing in the main two markets for export, for, for the US exports, which are the European market and the Asian market. Right now, the, the cost, the planet cost are, uh, you know, in a very dangerous zone uh, and, uh, and the, 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 the collapse of oil prices will tend to make those costs uh, too high to penetrate uh, the, the, the system of price now, now existing in Europe and in Asia. So that's the reason why I think, and I, point, uh, and I pointed out in my study, that even if there are more than 40 projects uh, waiting for authorization by the Department of Energy in the United States, no more than five to six will materialize in this decade with a total capacity of 60 to 70 million tons per annum, which is something that cannot make a dent in the, in the structure of the global gas market. The United States uh, had and had a big competitive advantage because the cost of energy here in the United States are much lower than in the rest of the world. This explains also the boom, uh, part, part of the boom of the, uh, of the U.S. economy, but uh, uh, these very low prices are considered a curse by producers of natural gas here in the United States because uh, when they look at international prices for natural gas, particularly those existing until a few months ago, they wanted to export as more gas as possible, of course. Uh, this, uh, now, this, the market scenario has changed, and of course is not uh, anymore that profitable to export natural gas, uh, yet it remains the, the, a, a big quest for most uh, U.S. gas producers to get at least the possibility to export that gas.